Happy Monday, everybody. Bill with Harlow's Corner 101. Give me a second. I just dropped an ah, electronic cigarette. Oh, it's been a rough seven days. I can promise you that. Anybody out there who knows me knows why. Uh, my wife and I are uh, getting separated. You know, when I moved out of my house and I agreed to move into my in-laws, I said to my wife, this better not interfere with our relationship. And, uh, I mean, she won't agree. She'll say this has nothing to do with it, but apparently it has something to do with it because all of a sudden, our can't live without you, could never, can't imagine my day without you, fucking theory is shot out the window and I want you to leave. I'm never home. If I'm never home, I'm working six, seven days a week, and you don't miss me, and you want me out, then I mean, and you always wanted me out. Uh, plain and simple as that. I don't know way or not. Uh, I'm not at all happy about it. Not at all happy about it. I said I think I should leave, and I wanted her to say no, because I felt like something was wrong. I just asked her the other day on the phone because she won't talk to me face to face. Do you want me to go? She said yes. I was just silent. My heart sunk. I said, are you sure, Misty, you want me to go? She said yes. What am I going to do? Throw myself to her feet and beg her to say no? Don't go? Not gonna, there's no reason to do that. If someone doesn't want me around as much as it hurts, and it does, I'm not gonna stay. My son, I know, even though we haven't formally told him yet, and I haven't formally moved out of the house yet, my son is going to be devastated. And he knows, he knows, he graves on to me every day and just holds me and hugs me as tight as he possibly can. He knows. He's not dumb, kids are smart. My son is very, very smart. He's extremely extremely clever, you know. But say la vie. I have to dedicate myself to my job. Uh, bear with me one moment, please. I have an emergency I am going to have to work in, so I need to go there. Your pipe's frozen burgers because I left the heat off or something. Beth and Sam Rice, 28 Henry Street. Oh, oh, this is from them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have, I have an emergency I'm going to have to work in, so I need to go there, your pipes frozen burgers. Your pipes frozen burgers? Because I left the heat on? What? Huh? That's an odd message. Um, okay, 28 Henry Street, Greenville. Navigate to 28 Henry Street, Greenville, South Carolina. Navigating to 28 Henry Street, Greenville, South Carolina, 29605. So I'm really destroyed. North on Berkeley Avenue toward North Franklin Road. My heart is broken in so many pieces right now. My wife and I split up a while ago, and we got back together, and I asked her all the time, is everything okay? Make sure you tell me if anything's wrong. Let me let me know so I can make maybe fix it. Everything's fine. Stop asking me. And now I hear, oh, well, this has been this way. That was destroyed. I broke the camel's back. 
What does that mean? Well, there was this time and this time and that time and it... Why didn't you fucking tell me? How many times have I said to you, is everything all right? Yes, Billiam, everything is wonderful. So, my wife, my... I was raised by women. And I'm a Virgo. And I believe in, you know, the moon having an effect on people and all sorts of good stuff. But la And last week we had four and a half days of full moon. Four and a half days. And that affected me. So I, I don't know if, you know, that affected her. I don't know what. But the full moon's gone and this is still happening. So I guess not. Um, but I'm more... In a quarter mile. Turn right onto West Blue Ridge Drive. I'm more emotional than, than she is. I, I am a... There's a word. I, I don't know. Whatever. Turn Being right raised by... Would you shut the fuck up? Time. Being raised by women. Jesus Christ. Every fucking two seconds. I got it. I know. Being raised by women, you're, you're more in tune to your sensitivity side. And I am. I, I am... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive. She's a woman. She should be sensitive. But she's not. She's like her father. Her father either loves you and you are the best or he hates you. There is no in-between. My wife is the same fucking way and I hate it. The lady that I'm moving in with, it's not a relationship or anything, but uh, she has rooms for rent. She's, she moved down from Virginia for the same reason. She's like, wow. I mean, we were talking the other day when I went over to look at the room, and she was like, wow, we are just th the same. Yeah, it's scary. It's like talking to myself in a woman form. You know, I don't like being alone. I, I, I like having a family. It killed me when my ex-wife and I split up. It fucking killed me. And I threw her out, but it fucking killed me. It killed me not having my kids. It, it, I mean, my kids and I are not close like we should be because of this. I do not want the same thing to happen with me and Robert. I, I made sure that I was a great father to him because of how I was with my other two, being separate and distant from them. I swore it would never happen again. I just got over fucking child support and I watched this shit. It's going to start all over again. No, it's not because I'm going for joint custody. That's a guarantee. I'm going for fucking joint custody. She can have him during the day while she homeschools and at night he's coming by me. I'll drop him off every fucking morning. I don't give a shit. There will be no child support. She will go out and get a goddamn job and see what the fuck it's like to work. You want to fuck with me? I said this on Facebook the other day, again, I'm not usually on Facebook a lot, but I said it on Facebook the other day, boy, my, my fucking life, I can either have money or I can have love. When I finally get a job that, that's paying me enough to support my family the way we need to be, to, the way we, I need to, I don't have a family. Like the last time. I actually had 30 grand in the bank and business was rolling in and she, I caught her cheating on me. So she left. As soon as I called her, she left. She moved to her parents. I could not answer the phone after that. I blew through that thirty grand. The last penny is when they went to work for Mr. Bruder and she got she came back together. With me. So. Nice truck. You know, the last time I didn't put that money into my truck, and by God, that fucking damn it, I'm gonna this time. I am gonna make this truck a fucking super ass fucking truck.
I've, I started eating a meal a day again. But for four days last week, I didn't eat not a bit. She didn't even care. Didn't even offer. My son, 11 years old. Daddy, did you eat today? All right, I really can't talk about it because I have to concentrate on work. And it's going to make me emotional and I don't want to be. Um, I'm only eight minutes away. I need to concentrate on whatever. This is Bill with Hollow's Point of 101. God bless everybody.